everyone. Thank you for joining my channel. My name is Samantha. If you're new here and I go by Thrifty on a Dime on all my socials. So this is a follow-up video to my prior one that I, I released where I shared items I'm going to be taking to um, Style Encore. And I said also Play-Dohs, but unfortunately today I was only able to get to Style Encore, which is totally fine just because this will give you an idea of what a store like that would take and what they kind of didn't take and why they didn't take the other items. So as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure you do subscribe to my channel if this sounds like something you're interested in. I'm gonna be trying to put out more videos like this because I feel like there's not that many out there to kind of help give you an idea of what to uh, pick up and sell to these um, buy on the spot stores. So this one is gonna take just a little bit for me to make. I will have to do some editing. So if you'd be so kind as hitting that like, and if you feel like it, share this video, that would be amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you what they took. They ended up taking this Sheen top, which I figured they would. Sheen is kind of on trend since it is a newer company. So most of this stuff is probably gonna to sell to them because it's made within the last couple of years. Again, not all sheen, but this looked like it was kind of trendy, so I went ahead and picked it up. They didn't take this reflex sweater, but I almost guarantee if I take it back that they will. I mean, it's cute. There's no stains, rips, or tears. It's something that really doesn't go out of style, and people are looking for active wear. They took this THML kind of long sweater dress. They didn't take this time and true top, which I'm surprised because it is plus size. It's in good shape, which I know somebody's gonna be like, well, it's time and true. That's not a high-end brand. And I get it, but they actually have a lot of time and true there. So after reviewing this video, I did notice that there is an oil stain, so that's more than likely why they didn't take it. But you can't really see it on the item, so maybe I'll just try and take it back one more time because it is a cute top. They didn't end up taking this Lucky Brand top. I assume maybe just the print is kind of out of style, but I am gonna bring it again just because it's super cute. They did not take this Rue 21 top, which doesn't surprise me because Rue 21 really is a teen style, so I should have taken it to Play-Dohs, but unfortunately I didn't have time that day. They did take this Chico's top. They did not take this fox suede old navy jacket, which kind of surprises me, but then again, you know, with winter kind of halfway over, maybe that's why they did say they were pretty full on inventory. That's why they were being picky. I'm surprised again that they didn't take this blouse, so I'm gonna check it over one more time to make sure I didn't miss anything, but it's in really good shape from what I could tell, and it looks trendy. They passed on this American Eagle sweater, but I guarantee if I take it to Play-Dohs, that again is something that will probably do better over there just because of the style. They didn't take this Harvey Bernard, I think is how you pronounce it, blouse, but again, maybe it's just a light stain that I had missed, so I will check it over in the light one more time before I bring it back. They did take this top also, which is kind of like a thermal long sleeve, it's cute. They did take this kind of popover sweater. They didn't end up taking this leather purse, which surprises me. Maybe I'll just stuff it full of bags next time to make it look cuter. They didn't end up taking this sweater cardigan shawl thing, but it doesn't surprise me. I mean, with them being full on kind of winter inventory, I'm just gonna have to keep bringing it back it's in really good shape so I will say this next item I definitely should have passed on it kind of does look like an older style but again I'm just gonna keep bringing it back because it's in good shape they didn't end up taking this sweater either but again it's something that I'm just gonna keep bringing back a lot of times it's funny because even the next time that I go the very same person might buy the stuff so who knows I kind of figured style wouldn't take this one this is definitely more of a Plato's closet younger style so next time I'll be sure that I get to Play-Dohs also. This one again, I wasn't surprised that they didn't take simply because it is a semi-cropped Under Armour top. So it's gonna be one that I take to Play-Dohs. They didn't take this 12 p.m. Mon 
Almani or whatever, however you pronounce it. They didn't take that boutique top. They did take this Maurice's top. They did not take this Umgi kind of duster, but looking around their store, I noticed they really didn't have any dusters anymore. So possibly it's just not in style. And that might have just been a bad buy to resell on my part, but I can list it online for, you know, 20 bucks and probably would get about 12 to 15. I again did not take this Kirkland kind of pop over active wear, but after looking further, I didn't realize Kirkland puts their date codes in there. So I went ahead and took that out. It was made within the last three years. So, I mean, it's cute. It's active wear. Women want that. I feel like this was a definitely spur of the moment bad buy too. Although it's like cute and it's a good brand, it's not a style that's probably going to do well. They did take this long sleeve top. They didn't take this active wear by Dan Skin. Again, I'll just bring it back. It's in good shape, no cracking on the labels, so they should take it. I honestly just need to stop buying blouses like this, but it's a White House black market, semi-new label, so I figured they'd take it, maybe if I bring it back. Funny how I just said they don't take semi-crops, but yet they took this one. So I think it's really the, the, the discretion of who's buying that day, because this sheet and top was definitely a crop top. They didn't take this one, but again, I will just bring it back. They did pass on this one, but the tag has a little bit of cracking. It's hard to see unless you look super close. The outside tag doesn't. But again, this is something that will probably fit me pre-pregnancy, so I'm definitely going to keep it for myself if they don't end up taking it next time. They didn't take this Gap sweater dress type thing, but I think they will. So again, I'll bring it back. This might have been a bad buy too. I mean, I'm pretty sure it might be out of style. It's a chambray top by J. Crew. They did take this Apana, I think is how you pronounce it, kind of sweater. I'm surprised because it did have a little peeling, but hey, maybe just because it's on trend, it is cute. They passed on this sweater, which doesn't surprise me. It does seem like a little bit of a dated style, so I might take it to Plato's and see if they take it. They did take this sweater. Um, I figured they would. I mean, it's cute. It's oversized. They did not end up taking this staccato sweater. I'll just bring it back. They passed on this rewind top, but I'm thinking it's more of a teen style. They passed on this one, but I'm thinking with winter kind of getting to the end, maybe that's why they passed. I will just keep bringing it. They also passed on this one, which is surprising with Valentine's Day so close. So again, I am definitely going to bring this one back and I bet you're going to laugh because I bet they take it next time I go. They did not take this kind of cardigan, but I guarantee it just looks like an older style. So this might have been a bad buy. I just thought it was cute and chunky and warm. They did not take these American Eagle jeans, which surprises me because I did take that date coat out and they are on trend. I mean, they're skinny jeans, they're dark wash, which is everything that they say they're looking for. So again, I'll just bring it back. They did end up taking these jeans. They did pass on these J. Crew jeans, which surprises me. I mean, they're in really good shape, so I'll bring it back. They pass on this tech gear, just plain top. They did pass on this plain, like, lissy top. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it does really well on Poshmark, so if it doesn't sell again next time, I'll just list it myself. They passed on this Fila full zip jacket. I assume it's just an older style looking jacket, so maybe Play-Dohs will take it. They did take this Grace sweater. They took this active wear top. They took this loft sweater. They did take this Haley & Co top.
they pass on this Under Armour pop over kind of acto wear. This Hollister top was definitely one for Play Doh, so they did end up passing on it, but it's really cute. Maybe I'll keep it for myself. They did take this Under Armour sweatshirt. They took this sweater. I have no idea how to pronounce the brand, that's why I put it up there so close. But yeah, they did end up taking this one. They took this Umbi sweater. They passed on this Maurice's lightweight jacket. I'm assuming because it does look like it's faded, although that I'm pretty sure is how it's supposed to be made. All right, guys, that wraps it up. So again, I like to take things back at least three times before I decide if I'm gonna donate it and stuff, just because you might get a different buyer, you might reach the same buyer in a different mood, you never know, but they actually told me they were being a little picky this last time because their inventory is full. But again, if I bring them back and bring them back, the same person will buy the same stuff and it's just crazy what they take and what they don't. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like before you go. There will be another video dropping where I actually put the prices on. I apologize. I didn't get a printout for this smaller buy because it was cash. Um, being that it was only $65, they were able to just give me cash and I forgot to tell them to print a receipt. But I will be better at it next time. Thanks guys.